हरे कृष्णा नमयोम विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नीति नाम नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देशारिणी वंशा कल्पत रूप से कृपा सिंधु पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासि गौरभक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. What a wonderful sessions we are having, and uh, what a beautiful experience we are all getting. So many devotees with so much love and devotion, they are sharing this beautiful Dham Yatra and their experiences and the beautiful Katha of these beautiful Dhams. How fortunate we are that uh, sitting at our home and our temples and our you know places. we are visiting through our mind that is the power of mind that is a that is a blessing of the vaishnavas so today we are going to another beautiful place another beautiful dham and this dham is very famous because of some mahaprasad is very famous from this place i won't tell you but once we hear it then you will be understanding about which place we are talking about This place in Chaitanya Charita, my dear Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu personally describes this place, and now you will understand what is this place that I am going to talk. So in Chaitanya Charita, my dear Madhulila, very beautifully it has been written: Remu na te gopi na te paro mohan bhakti kori koi lo Prabhu tar darshan. In Remu na the gopi na is very beautiful with lot of love and devotion to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu too. The deity is darshan. He which your Agopina to proceed to our name, Bhakta Gane kahe Prabhu hi to akyam. Purve Madhavendra puri lagi kiri churi koi lo churi, ato yev naam hoy lo kiri chora hori. So this time, Mahaprabhu is saying, I will tell you a beautiful pastime of this kiri chora Agopina, and then he says this specific deity of Agopina. He stole the key for his beloved devotee, Sri Pad Madhavendra Puri, and because of that stealing of key, he got another name, Kheer Chora Puri. So, like this, we are actually talking about. We are going to discuss and visiting the beautiful dham of Kheer Chora Gopinath, where the key is called Amrita Keli, which is famous in three words. Are not three words throughout the creation. Why? Because it is Krishna's Mahaprasad. And who is Sri Pad Madhavendra Puri? Bhakti Lata Kalpa Vrikhir Mool Madhavendra Puri. Jai Janma Gopinath Khir Koi Do Churi. The Ashi Chetra Mahaprabhu is saying. The Acharyas are also saying that if the Bhakti Lata tree is considered like a tree, Bhakti is considered like a tree. The root of the tree is Sri Pad Madhavendra Puri. Shri Pad Madhavendra Puri is the uh, guru of Ishwar Puri, and Ishwar Puri is the spiritual master of our dear Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So that's why this place of Ramuna is very beautiful, very divine, very spiritual, and above all, the nectar of Kheer which Gopinath takes. We will all try our level best to taste it today through hearing. So be with us, and then we will be visiting many beautiful places around this Ramuna Dham. Why this place is called Ramuna? It is actually from Calcutta, is a three and a half, three hundred and fifty kilometers approx. Um, if we can go by train, we can go by bus, we can take a private car. The roads are very nice, and uh, uh, Ramuna is named because it is a Beloved place of Lord Ram. Now you may be thinking that why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's era was going on. How to, you know, how we are putting it in Ram's name. So, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's, you know, associate, uh, Rasikananda Murari Prabhu's disciple, Sri Krishnananda Dev Goswami Ji, 
in palm leaves he wrote a very beautiful scripture by the help of other scriptures and puranas it is called shruti sahab and in that scripture from that scripture we come to know the beautiful detail past times of gopinath ji the beautiful deity how from chitrakoot he traveled and came to shri ramana dham let's go to ramayan first to understand shri ramana's beautiful past time shri jayanna mahaprabhu speaks about the glories of teacher gopinath here about his connection with shri pad madhavendra puri now we will be speaking from ramayan with the help of the scripture called shruti sar long back when shri ramchandra was performing his past times here in this world during that time a big span of time with mother sita and lakshman he stayed in chitrakoot one day in chitrakoot by seeing the cows who were running by seeing the cloud and the wind was blowing very fast the cows were making a lot of sound they were you know uh, running here and there and mother sita and shri ramchandra was sitting in a higher raised place and then ramchandra was very much enjoying this beautiful pastime that the cows were doing my seeing this cow lord ram just said with happiness the next time when i am going to come i am going to be with this cows they are our mother and then profusely shri ramchandra started glorifying mother cow and we all know that among the seven mothers that we have mother cow is one of them go mata ki jai and shri ramchandra said that i love them mother sita was very astonished he never seen shri ramchandra so happy by seeing cows so mother sita asked my dear lord i want to know that why you are so specific about cows i know cows are very special they are our mother Shri Ramchandra said, "Next time when I am coming, I will be with them. <laughs> and not only I will be with them, my name will be given because I am associating with the cows. My name will be Gopal. My name will be Govin, like that." And then Mother Sita said, "Said that how you will look?" Then Shri Ramchandra said, "I will look very different. I will be looking very different. I will be holding." flute and i will be gazing at the cows though we know krishna is the source of all the incarnations ayate chansa kala tum shri krishna tu bhagwan swayam indri ari vaikula loke mridayanti yuge yuge however shri ramchandra is one of the prominent you know incarnations of shri krishna he speaks like this to mother sita and then mother sita says that i am so happy to hear this now you please tell me how you will look ram ram said they said that give me some time give me one month and i will make it you know carved how i will look carved in a stone by hearing that mother sita becomes very happy so lord ram chandra took a very big stone black stone and went inside a cave in chitrakoot in the hills and then with his bow and arrow started carving Yes, the Lord is a painter. The Lord is a sculptor. He is having everything because he is Purnam, Purnamada, Purnamida, Purnat, Purnat, Purdachate, Purnasta, Purnamada, Ayu, Purnamiva, Vishishate. He knows everything. So what a big deal! Who can give color to the sky? Who can give color to the rainbow? Who can beautifully make hills and you know oceans? So he started this beautiful carving, his own form. how he is going to come you know next next time and in this way what happens actually uh sri ramchandra took little time mother sita said no 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 i i cannot wait for a long time now you have to show me and then she was you know, requesting the lord the lord took her and there she sees this beautiful form of shri krishna a uh, very very beautiful form and then this whole you know what do you call a uh, stone which has been in rectangular shape lord ram carved sri krishna in between there were chandra and mushtik fighting 
small small you know what do you call uh, pain or what you call carvings you know you know eight sakis down his friends and so many cows and he is standing underneath a beautiful jamun tree you know the berry tree you know he was standing and by seeing this mother sita immediately started worshiping that beautiful deity of krishna uh, in a treta yug and then later part what happens actually lord ramchandra lakshman and sita maya they have to travel because the muni and rishis are requesting that please come and save us from the miscreants and the lord ram went at that time from treta yuga to kali yuga more than 700 years back till that time you know this deity was he personally worshiped by lord brahma in the caves later part in the age of kali more than you know 7 to 800 years back the laguna nrsingh dev of jagannath puri 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 king odisha king actually during that time laguna nrsingh dev he traveled to chitrakoot with his wife and some or other they came to know to chitrakoot for a pilgrimage and there they heard the beautiful deity is there in the third by lord sri ramchandra and then uh, they wanted to take darshan and then when they took darshan they wanted to serve him in the same night when they were sleeping this beautiful krishna deity in the form of krishna personally the deity comes and comes in the you know what in in the dreams of you know the queen and then the queen said that you know krishna said that i want to travel with you to odisha so taking that beautiful deity in a in a beautiful throne above the elephant they started from chitrakoot heading to us shri jagannath puri in between after traveling you know few days in between they were resting in a place and that place was called you know in the they entered actually uh, that place and that place was called remuna why remuna this place was called in odisha because sri ramchandra the purana says while going back to ayodhya he stayed in this remuna and there mother sita wanted to take bath in mother ganga <clears throat> so with seven arrows sapta sara na sapta sara means in bengali sara or in odia sara means you know what do you call arrow the lord invoked mother ganga from the patala loka and mother sita took bath and in remuna if you go the sapta sara ganga still flows shri ram ganga stayed there three nights and three days established two temples ram chandra temple where he worshiped and then there is a very beautiful temple which has been personally installed the shiva temple by banasur and banasur requested gargamuni you all know who is gargamuni to install the shiva linga and this banasur the shiva linga also you know is there been worship there so ramchandra stayed there three days and three nights and then went to ayodhya so because lord ram stayed here he loved this place by seeing the cows and everything here lord ramchandra name was given to this place called remuna ram's ramaniya sthan the place which lord ram loved and stayed here so in this way we see when the deity of the, you know the krishna was coming in the in the, in the head of you know in the in above the elephant they took rest here in the night when they were taking rest at that time what happened uh this beautiful deity form of krishna which has been carved by lord sri ramchandra personally again came in the mind of in the in the dream of uh the queen the queen is so lucky you see and then he says that i want to stay here and then they all you know all the people they came around the people they all came around in you know, the surrounding people surrounding villages and they were all you know the people who who deals with cows they were all gowalas they were all you know people who deals they are all vaishyas their their whole business is you know about taking care of cows and cow products so in this way gopinath you know krishna at that time 
he very much loved this place and wanted that i don't want to go to puru puri i want to stay here because it looks just like vrindavan so many cows and so many ghosh pallis so at that time what happened the queen said that okay underneath the very beautiful bakula tree they established a very beautiful temple and falguni purnima tithi laguna nishinga dev he established this beautiful temple in 104 shakabda and then later part he was named as sri jay gopal the deity's name was previously jay gopal later part everybody started calling him as gopina because he is a very dear most uh deity he is a very dear most personality of the gopis the so first his name was given jay gopal rani dev and then sri gopinath he got the name later part and then there was a very beautiful pushkarini in that pushkarini's water was been used for the service of this beautiful deity now coming back in this way you know more than 700 800 years back laguna nishinga dev with, with his queen bought this beautiful deity carved by lord shri ramchandra worshiped by mother sita worshiped by brahma here in odisha and then later part we know what happened i will just briefly tell you the beautiful past time of you know this gopinath after shri gopal ji appeared where in shri vrindavan dham as we all know that how gopinath you know this uh, beautiful gopal ji was been hiding in the bushes of vrindavan so madhavendra puri was kasarkambulating shri giriraj govardhan this i am talking about more than you know yeah 600 700 years back and suddenly on beautiful boy comes and then slowly slowly as chaitanya charitamrita says beautiful this shrinath ji was established in shri vrindavan dham gopal at the top of giriraj govardhan with the help and the devotion of shri pad madhavendra puri this all past time now shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is telling to the devotees including shri nityananda prabhu shri chaitanya mahaprabhu says remunate koilo gopinate darshan tar rup dekhiya hoilo mon bihal mon ritu geet kori jagamann goshila kya kya bhog lage brahmane goshila shivar shoshta badhi anandito mone uttam bhog lage tha bujhi anumane so in this way jitendra mahaprabhu started speaking the beautiful past time that happened to shripad madhavendra puri and to him it was told by ishwar puri his guru maharaj so he says that you know the gopal of vrindavan was not feeling comfortable with the heat of vrindavan so he asked madhavendra puri go to puri malaya desh malaya chandan you will get there because during that time the puri king and the odisha people used to do lot of mercantile business with bali sumatra java indonesia and malaysia here in this chapter of you know chaitanya charitamrita the prophet speaks about malaysia was famous for the sandalwood now you will only get uh, rubber trees but previously it was sandalwood and because of malaysia that place was called malaya chandan and malaya chandan uh, was been you know uh, bought in, in in india by the odisha people and then the best chandan was being used for the service of lord jagannath swami so the gopal of vrindavan instructs madhavendra puri this pastime this dham speaks so much you know about the principles of krishna consciousness the service attitude of a devotee sometimes some services come to us <laughs> and we give it to others you know we say evam parampara praptam evam rajeshwara vidho however we need to understand the services that we are requesting the lord to give this dham speaks about it this dham also speaks about that how the lord if the devotee is surrendered to the lord the lord is also desiring a lord to do something for the service or as a love he wants to do something for his devotee so in this way what happens actually 
he the gopal was installed by madhavendra puri then gopal again asked and he was in a very mature age you know he was very elderly person very old person that please go and bring some camphor and sandalwood from them even till now also odisha is famous for his sandalwood uh, and a specific sandalwood they get for jagannath and camphor also is very cooling for the body of the deity and then madhavendra puri started walking just imagine you know from delhi to coming to odisha now sometimes you know so many trains are there so many flights are there we think what is a big deal no at that time they started walking bhaja govinda govinda gopala giridhari gopinath nanda dulala govinda govinda gopala so he started walking walking and then he came and here it is written that says that whenever he comes when he entered he saw, saw the beautiful shivan madhavendra prabhu puri saw this beautiful gopinath the beautiful seva and then by seeing the services rendered to this deity he was so happy now this dham also speaks that how the deity should be worshiped and whenever a devotee goes to the dham you know what should be his mood his mood should be following the footsteps of shripad madhavendra puri they should ask that how the deities have been worshiped how the deities have been given special bhoga special dresses special festivals and that is the reason why we are going to the dham to get inspired in our life how to love the deities and how the services are going so beautifully we want to be encouraged in our krishna consciousness by seeing them so then he was asking that kya kya bhog lage brahman ne puchila and then he was asking that what are the different bhogas you offer and during that time what happens সন্ধ্যায় ভোগ লাগে কি অমৃত কেলি নাম দ্বাদশমৃত প্রত্য ভরি অমৃত সমান গোপীনাথের ক্ষীর বলি প্রসিদ্ধ যান মা তার নাম পৃথিবীতে ওইছে ভোগ কাহা নহি তো ইট ইস ভেরি বিউটিফুল দ্যাট ইন দ্য ইভনিং টাইম ইন টুয়েলভ পটস অফ মিনো আর্দন পটস দে অফার দিস ক্ষীর টু গোপীনাথ ইন দ্য থ্রু আউট দ্য ক্রিয়েশন it has been called as the kheer of gopina and then he was thinking that so beautifully if this kheer is there if i can taste a bit then how it will be nicely you know i i will enjoy you know i will make krishna enjoy if i taste it i can make it for my gopal now another principle comes here that whenever a pure devotee sees something good he wants to use it for the service of the lord isn't it whenever we see something wonderful suppose it is a elephants or mango it may be a very nice sweet sandesh from kolkata immediately you know what happens we want to enjoy it. but the devotees of the lord shripad madhavendra puri who is the ruler in this place in this dham of premana that how every beautiful thing should be given for the service of the lord he wanted to test it not for his sense gratification for for his pleasure he wanted to test it that he can serve the lord so beautifully how wonderful how great he is and in that time what happens actually the pujari you know he offers the bhoga that is called amrit keli and then immediately what happens he closes the door the sham you know sham you know he puts the deities in sham sleeping and madhavendra puri feels so bad that how can i the lord is going to enjoy and i am thinking i will enjoy before the lord so he felt very bad he felt so bad he went to a you know market place which is abandoned because it is night time underneath a very big banyan tree he just started chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare and he was feeling guilty that how you know this thought of mine is so uh, you know bad so uh, heinous but you see he is desiring to do it for krishna but you know he is also feeling bad you know how can i do that so chaitanya charitamrita and this beautiful 
dham that the chitanna mahaprabhu is saying and he is speaking this thing tells us so many beautiful passages so remuna is such a beautiful place and so much principles of krishna consciousness we can learn from these great souls here in this in the reciprocation of the deity and as the deity is been put in sleep and madhavendra puri is chanting you know few few uh maybe few meters away from the temple and is it, it is late night and then as a pujari goes to his home and sleeps suddenly in his dream gopinath comes and says hey pujari get up get up utho utho jago and go to my altar and you will see i have stolen one pot of kheer and it is underneath my dhoti and you go there you get it and you then go to madhavendra puri he is one of my very pure devotees go to this pure devotee and tell him that i have kept this for him and give it to him so here he is telling that what happened sapone thakur rashi kolila vachan uto pujari karo dar vimochan khir ek rakhi achi sanyasi karon dhorar anchole dhaka khir ek hoy tumra janile taha amar mayay madhav puri sanyasi achi hate boshiya taha keo to ei khir shigro deho loiya he is saying the same thing he is saying we'll go and give it to him then what the pujari does sapno dekhi pujari uthi korila bichar snan kori kapat kuli mukto koilo dar so at that time pujari got up to bath and he went you know knock he opened and saw oh there is khir dhorar anjole pailo sei khir thale lepi khir loiya hoilo bahir and then you see pujari what he did he is also following the standards of the deity the deity cleaning the deity that is taking care immediately he mops that place because it is you know you know what you call the lord has you know put that prashad and prashad need to be clean and then he took there to take you know he he took that khir and then he comes out and then dar diya grame gela shil shei khir loiya hate hate bule madhav puri ke chai and then he is going and everybody is asking is there anyone who is called madhavendra puri is there anyone named madhavendra puri khir lo ho ei jar naam madhav puri toma lagi gopinath khir koi lo churi o oh, madhavendra puri you are so lucky you know please come and then please take this khir because for you the lord has stolen khir the lord is a thief चौराग्यम पुरुषम नमा स्टील्स एवरीथिंग ही स्टील्स द हार्ट ऑफ श्रीमती राधा रानी ही स्टील्स ऑल द सिंपल रिएक्शंस इन आवर हार्ट जन्म जन्मों को पापों को चौरम एंड ही स्टील्स खीर फॉर हिज प्योर डिवोटी दिस इज द प्लेस ऑफ रेमोना दिस इज द प्लेस ऑफ दिस ग्रेट एन आचार्य श्रीपाद माधवेंद्रपुरी इन आवर गोड़े और परंपरा and who is telling this past time the lord personally who is himself is krishna jai gaur sai krishna sai jagannath khiri loiya shukhi tumi karo bhokkhane toma samo bhagwan nahi tribhuvane and he is saying please take this gift and you are so lucky these all these things are happening in the middle of the night where where we are visiting today shri ramana dham and he is saying that you are the most fortunate person isn't it is fortunate yes why is fortunate because for you krishna stolen keep eto shuni puri goshai porichay dilo khir diya pujari tare dando bat koilo and then madhavendra puri heard that he came out and then pujari he said that i am i am madhavendra puri and then immediately after you know handovering you know handing over the khir immediately you know my you know the pujari he full dandav because understanding how great this person is khirer vrittanto tare kohilo pujari shuni prema bishto hoila shri madhav puri 
So he then told the whole past time of this Kheer. And by hearing that, Madhavendra Puri became very grave and he became so ecstatic. Premi dekhi shiva kohe huyya vishito Krishna shi yihar vash hoi jatha jatho By seeing the ecstatic power or love in the body, in the mind, in the consciousness, in the great devotee Madhavendra Puri, immediately the Kujari understood he is such a great person and because of this devotion of him, he has controlled Krishna. So Krishna is saying, Aham Bhakto Paradhino. I am, I, am, I am controlled by my devotees. And how Krishna's devotees control him? Krishna's devotees control him by loving him. More, he is, they, they try their best to serve them. And that is the reason why Madhavendra Puri, because he is walking, going through, you know, so many, so many, so much he is walking just to get Chandan. And then in between he stays here. In Ramuna, Gopinath stealing. And by hearing this, you know, he was so ecstatic, he immediately took that prasad. And then he was crying. Then he broke the pot, put it in his bag. Kochod means, you know, in his dhoti, he packed it because Krishna has touched it. Just imagine the consciousness of a pure devotee. Krishna has touched and stole it. So Krishna, by the hand of Krishna, you know, it has been touched. So it has become, you know, chintamani. It is worshipable. Tadiya. Namaste sudhamne, suradipti dhamne, tadi udaraya, tadishwasta dhamne. Namo radhikave, tadiya priyave, namantali laya devaya tubyam. So you see, they are teaching by this example anything connected to Krishna is so auspicious. Whether it is a rope in his belly or maybe the pot that is called Tadiya, which has been touched by whichever makes me remember Krishna, that is called Tadiya. So in this way, Madhavendra Puri took that. He then immediately in that same night, he started walking. Why he started walking? Because Two things he was fearful. When in the morning time everybody will come to know that Krishna has stolen Kheer, Gopinath has stolen, stolen Kheer. For me, people will come and ask blessing and so many people will come and my bhajan, my sadhana will be disturbed. This is another mood of a pure devotee. They do not want any followers. Nadhanam, Najanam, Nasandarim, Kavitam, Vajagadisha, Kamaye, Mama, Janmani, Janmani, Shwarek. Bhavatar bhakti rapitu kittvai. It's the same thing Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying. And the same thing Rupa Goswami is saying also. Sarva aparada hiyaya, sarva anartha vivushtaya, kuru pratishtaya, vishtaya, yantre, asparshana bhari. This pratishtha name, fame is an impediment in the service of the Lord. We become proud unless and until we can tolerate, but it is very difficult to tolerate. Shripad Madhavendra Puri, for whom Krishna is still in here, he left Ramuna the same night and started walking towards Jagannath. Jai Jagannath, Jai Jagannath, Jai Baladeva, Jai Subhadra, Jagannath Swami, Nayana Patagami, Nayana Patagami, Havatume. And he entered, and before he reaches Jagannath, has ordered all his pandas and the king that my great devotee is coming, Sripad Madhavendra Puri. And then they made him take darshan of the Lord because Jagannath darshan and they made Jahi honor Jagannath Mahaprasad, Mahaprasad ki. And they also arranged the camphor and the sandalwood Malaya Changar. And then he was, he, he was given by the king the tax-free, what do you call, uh, letter, that everywhere, he, if anybody wants to see, they will see that nobody will give him any trouble. And they also arranged, the king also arranged, the Puri king also arranged, uh, you know, assistant for Sripad Madhavendra Puri. However, Sri Madhavendra Puri, he also took the sandalwood, a portion of sandalwood in his head and started walking towards Sri Vrindavan. 
again bolo govinda govinda gopala giridari gopinath nanda dulala govinda govinda gopala and everybody was so happy to be with shri padmanabh and the padmanabh and the guru was so happy yatra we are doing yatra yes he was also in yatra yatra from vrindavan to remuna remuna to puri and then puri again he was going back to vrindavan for his gopal he was meditating upon gopal govinda govinda gopala giridhari gopinath nanda tulala but again he comes to remuna because he has to cross remuna and then in remuna when he was staying few days when he was stayed there and he was taking darshan every day to gopinath and at that time his name was given as from jay gopal to gopinath to gopinath to khir chora gopina and then later part what happens the dt of gopinath comes in the dream of madhavendra puri and tells you don't have to go to vrindavan you have done enough and you stay with me here and the sandalwood that you have bought with the camphor and spices and auspicious items you make the paste here with the help of my devotees here and put it in my body me and your gopal is same none other than krishna we are same so when you put chandan in my body your gopal will be also getting coolness in his body hari bol and in that way following the instruction of gopinath shripad madhavendra puri stayed back and in akshay tritiya day he made that chandan paste with camphor he bought from shri jagannath puri he just paste it so beautifully with auspicious water auspicious herbs and camphor and fragrant in you know in ingredients and in akshay tritiya day they beautifully decorated the body of shri gopinath and as he gave the chant sandal in the body of gopina he is gopal or also god the coolness of malaya chandal and it was fragrant devotion is fragrant like sandalwood among all the pulps among all the lepanam you know smearing things the sandalwood is the king and sri vishnu becomes very happy when we offer sandalwood to him and in this way madhavendra puri stayed back and he took his samadhi he went back to krishna you know from shri ramuna dham so ramuna is also very special because shri pad madhavendra puri is bahu samadhi is here in shri ramuna dham it's a very very was auspicious and uh, you know a uh, very very pure place for all gori vaishnavas what to say about gori vaishnavas for all vaishnavas all devotees for all humans for all living entities this is a worshipable place why is a pure devotee is you know place this is a place of the lord where he is proving i am not a deity i can see i can walk i can talk as chaitanya mahaprabhu says pratima nau tumi sakshat rajendra nandan you are not an idol you are the supreme personality of god and krishna himself remuna also proves that so in remuna Sri Pad Madhavendra Puri took samadhi, and you will be astonished to know every day, as a gesture of his blessing and love from the temple to his samadhi, one pot of khir comes to prove the Lord always remembers his devotees. The Lord says in Bhagavad Gita, "Neha Vikramana Nasi Pradhava Devidyate Salpamapiya Sadharma Satrayato Mahadovaya." even the person that little bit krishna never forgets and krishna saves from the biggest calamity and what to speak about shripad madhavendra puri in ramuna who has dedicated his life for the service of the lord and how great he is that you know he got shripad ishwar puri as his disciple and then chaitanya mahaprabhu as his grand disciple krishna personally comes and that is the reason chaitanya charitamrita who is actually the mind of krishna he personally krishna is glorifying this devotee anybody comes here in ramuna whenever i go i feel so spiritually enlivened 
in this place later part sri chetana mahaprabhu's great followers uh, rasikananda gaur prabhu uh, then his guru maharaj shemananda prabhu all of them they preached in this area they they, they touched krishna consciousness spread it krishna consciousness here rasikananda gaur prabhu's uh, deities and shemananda prabhu's deities are also here in this place as govinda in right side and left side is gopina in madan mohan of shemananda prabhu and rasikananda gaur and in between this kar deity of shri ramachandra is been worship as kirtana gopina in the morning time 5 to 5 5 5:35 o'clock if you go you can see the mangala arati and not only that the whole covering of the you know what do you call deity of the lord they uncover in front of you and they show you mercifully the all the carvings have been personally made by sri ramachandra ramaya ramachandra ay ramabhadra ay vede se raghunatha ay nata ay sita ay patay nata he personally carved it just imagine the potency of this place and you will be astonished to know rasikananda gaur prabhu samadhi is here with his associates they are also their samadhi is here you will be also astonished to know sidhar swami maharaj and sridhar swami of our parampara sridhar swami his both places in ramana and not only that vishnu chakravarti thakur these two personalities are the great personalities because of their vashas we are getting everything all this you know in the parampara dhara in 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 the form of literatures their vashas were been highly appreciated by all gauri vaishnavas including bhakti sada sasri thakur bhakti vinod thakur and our dear shila prabhu pa prabhu pa so many times quotes shridhar swami and you know vishnu chakravarti akur both of their you know birthplace is in nirmala so this is the glory of shri ramana dham ramana dham is so auspicious so wonderful that if one person just enters ramana immediately he will be subcharged with krishna consciousness and this all place if we can visit the gargeshwar mahadev Ramchandi Temple, there is Nishinga Temple and Vemuna Temple. Shila Bhakti Sadanda Sasita Chakur Prabhupada established Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's lotus feet here. That also you can take darshan. You can see very beautiful Mitra Parvat, you know, hills, Saptashara. And then very beautifully you can honor the Amrita Keli. Ki, my mouth is watering. <laughs> and Sri Pad Madhavendra Puri said, Somebody, you can go and you can chant. Let us all go and chant. They have Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. This in the in the in the samadhi of the great souls. You know they are so wonderful. They are so great that samadhi of the great souls are actually uh, full of Krishna Prem. Puri. actually you will be a different person there is some such spiritual greatness and such empowering potency is there in this place and the deity he is chanting you know he is having kartal and he is chanting and there is a beautiful picture the brahmana is coming with the kheer pot you can take darshan of you can circumambulate the beautiful samadhi and his beautiful form in the samadhi so this is these are little bit of drops that i have shared with you actually from calcutta to jagannath puri there are so many beautiful dhams because chetana mahaprabhu walked in these places gauru amar dishavasthane korilo bhaman range sheshavasthana hrava ami pranay bhakat sangi so uh, we need to visit as we are visiting today so let us all worship the lord in the form of gopinath here I let us all request the Gopinath, request Gopinath that he can give us blessing, that we can also try our level best to serve him, following the footsteps of our spiritual masters, Shri Prabhupada, 
பக்தி சந்த சஸ்தி ஠ாகூர நீவம் you know in the parampara wise to nityananda prabhu goranga mahaprabhu and as she par madhavendra kuri sir shri shri gopinath ji bhagwan ki jai shri muna dham ki jai siyavara ramachandra ki jai sitaram lakshman hanuman ki jai samavet gauravat vand ki jai sa parshad श्री गौरंग नित्यानंद प्रभु की जय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि हरि को श्री मुना धाम की जय नाउ वी विल बी विजिटिंग अनदर ब्यूटीफुल धाम दिस प्लेस इज एज पावरफुल एज मेनी अदर प्लेसेस दैट वी आर विजिटिंग थ्रू आवर माइंड थ्रू अ जर्नी बाय हियरिंग दिस प्लेस इज कनेक्टेड टू Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's very close associates. As Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself, Brajendra Nandana Jai Sati Shuta Hala Shai Balaram Koyla Nidai, Sri Krishna comes in the form of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as Sri Prabhupada writes in his Bhaktivedanta purport to teach us how a devotee should be and how he should be. And as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, he came with his all associates. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Jive Daya Kori, महाप्रभु from the spiritual world he used to associate he got all of them here gorangira sangi gane nitya siddha kari bane sri jay gajendra vishnu prabhas shri chaitanya mahaprabhu the associates acharyas are saying that kunta ko is saying those who understand narutam das is also saying same those who understand these great personalities are actually nitya siddhas they are all worshipable they are all connected to krishna they will go to shri vrindavan dham Also, Shri Gaura Mandala Bhumi Jeeva Jane Chinta Mani Taro Shai Guse Bhumi Vaas. So, Gaura Mandala Bhumi, this Gaura Mandala Bhumi where we are visiting actually, uh, Remuna, then so many other places in Calcutta. And now, just from Calcutta, 140 kilometers from Calcutta, the birthplace of Srila Prabhupada. This place we are going to visit and that is called Bon Vishnupur. Now, you may be thinking that why I... Uh, spoke about Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In Rupa Goswami is, and Sanatana Goswami is prayers that we do every day. Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sthapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Radhati Swa Padantitam. What does it mean? It means whatever Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had in his heart, in his mind, he gave it. to roop sanatan and all the six goswami sri roop sri sanatan bhatto raghunath sri jiva gopal bhatto das raghunath ei chhay gosair kori charana bandhan jaha hoite bigna nash abhishta pura that means we worship let us worship the lotus feet of the six goswami is by worshiping the lotus feet of the six goswami is all the negativity will go away and we will get fresh up तादेरो चरणो शिवी भक्त शने बास जनो में जनो में हाय ए योगिलास दैट मींस दैट आई वांट टू वर्शिप देम देयर लोटस फीट लाइफ आफ्टर लाइफ एंड दैट इज माय डिजायर नाउ दिस इज गोस्वामी इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग द हार्ट ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु नित्यानंद प्रभु दिस इज गोस्वामी हेडेड बाय रूप एंड सनातन रोड वैष्णव लिटरेचर्स व्हाट आर दिस वैष्णव लिटरेचर्स अनलेस एंड अंटिल वी हैव फिलॉसफी the culture cannot be you know fully you know maintained and unless until we have philosophy we will be sentimental person and then we will not get that ultimate benefit of worshiping krishna so that's why sri chaitanya mahaprabhu ordered the six goswami to write the literatures and then in sri vrindavan dham all these six goswami and so many other vaishnavas including Akshara Devdas Goswami and so many other personalities they wrote Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's wonderful pastimes and instruction in their granthas in their books in their literatures in their puthis and as they wrote one specific day 
you know, they decided that we need to distribute it. As Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, that you know, you go to every 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 house and give this Krishna prem. Shuno shuno nityananda shuno hori dash sharvatta aradga karo prakash pati ghare ghare gye karo e dhikha bhaja Krishna kaha Krishna karo Krishna shikha. So please go in every house and then you have to chant Krishna's name and to follow Krishna's name and you have to give them the teaching of Krishna consciousness. What is this teaching? Teaching means we need to give them the literatures, Vaishnava literatures. With the help of the Vaishnava literature, what happens? We become strong in our Krishna consciousness. We are, we become fixed in our Krishna consciousness. We become powerful in our Krishna consciousness. And in that way, when we worship the Lord, then we become so happy. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ordered, and then all this is Goswami's robe. And then under the evil guidance of Sri Jiva Goswami, what happens? Something beautiful. The three Thakurs of Gaudiya Vishnu Parampara, in our Parampara, the Narottam Das Thakur, Sri Srinivas Acharya, and Shemananda Prabhu, from different spiritual masters, they all came to take training under Sri Jiva Goswami in Sri Vrindavan Dham. Now, about this uh, great personalities, I'm not going to tell you in detail because we are going to visit the Dham. We are going to visit the Sripat of this, you know, you know, this one of them of these three Thakurs. Narutam Das Thakur, Srinivas Acharya and Shemananda Prabhu. They were staying as good friends and God brothers, you know, you know, in a spiritual organization when we have wonderful, you know, different, powerful spiritual masters. And uh, we all stay as spiritual uh, brothers and refuse. And then that becomes so wonderful. So Narutam Das Thakur, Srinivas Acharya, Shemananda Prabhu are the example how even if we are from different spiritual masters, but we can stay together for the satisfaction and service to Sri Gauranga and Nityananda So on a specific day, they all assembled and all the Goswamis, they uh, gave their all literatures. They are actually money and ratnas, very powerful, you know, jewels. They are real wealth of our, of our parampara. So, you know, in, in, you know, you know, many bullock cuts were fulfilled up with these literatures. And you will be astonished to know the Mughal emperor, emperor you know, that time, you know, Akbar, he actually, the record says, he and his descendants, they sponsored a special, a special ink and a special palm leaf and special paper, which has been, you know, coated with, uh, you know, what do you call mom? You know, what do you call mombati? You know, what do you call that, you know, uh, the... Uh, you know, the specific, you know, ingredient, which water, even if the water is touched there, they, are, they, they, they don't, you know, won't uh, get destroyed. Yes, because they cultivated them, the six Goswamis, and then they sponsored. And all the Goswamis, they wrote all these beautiful literatures. And when they wrote these wonderful, beautiful literatures, this three Thakur, Nivatam Das Thakur, Srinivas Acharya, and Shamananda Prabhu, they were the head of this yatra with the bullock cards. They wanted them to send it to Srinavadi, Mayapur, Dham, and to Bengal for the benefit of all of us. And then they started the yatra from Srinavadi, Dham. And as they were starting, the three personalities, Narutam Das Thakur, Srinivas Acharya, and Shamananda Prabhu, they were all so happy, but they were also be very careful because they had to pass through. Um, very, very, uh, what do you call, dangerous pathway. A lot of decrants were there, that's why mysteries were there. However, they fully had faith in the name of the Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And they were all chanting, you know, this beautiful song, Bhaja Gauranga, Loha Gauranga, Kaho Gauranga Renamre, Jejana Gauranga Bhaja, Shihaya Marcha, Gorango Bolia, Duba Putulia, Nachia Nachia, Gaude, Bodo Gorango, Kaho Gorango, Lahogo Rangi, 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे इन दिस दे विल चैंटिंग एंड कमिंग एंड कमिंग एंड व्हेन एवर इन द नाइट दे विल स्टे इन वन प्लेस दे विल प्रीच कृष्ण कांशर आउट ऑफ कृष्ण कांशर दे विल डू कीर्तन भजन बाय देयर दिस श्री ठाकुर एसोसिएशन एवरी विलेज इन दी टाउन दे वर गेटिंग श्री गौरांग नितनंद प्रभु सलाम so as they were passing through and they were coming from vrindavan to bengal there was a place there is a place actually called bang vishnupur in today's day the station um, it is named vishnupur previously it was bang vishnupur even in the scriptures you know it is written bang vishnupur why bang vishnupur because it was dense forest and there stayed a very powerful jacobite king called bir hambi and his wife was sudeshna now this birhambir when they started and they were approaching bengal this birhambir had a ganatkar ganatkar means an astrologer who said and because his whole kingdom was made by jaka you know by 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 stealing things from others by attacking others those who are passing through that place you know very strange anyway now what happens actually how krishna works so all these great prasanna rutam das thakur shrinivas acharya and you know shamananda prabhu they were you know they were asked to visit and asked to preach in certain areas you know rutam das thakur was supposed to go to bangladesh purva bangla you know bangladesh and then shamananda prabhu was supposed to take care of the whole odisha and shrinivas acharya was supposed to take care of bengal and all nearby places So in this way, they were allotted. Prabhu Dutta Kshetra. They have been given order, just like Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati gave order to Shri Prabhu to go to the Western world and preach. Similarly, um, all these great personalities they got instruction. So they approached, and as they were approaching this beautiful place, you know, this actually later part of it became beautiful. It was dense forest, and they all took rest. All the Vaishnavas, all the The horses and the cows. They were all taking rest, and all the people. And then the three personalities also, because of the hectic journey, they also took rest there. And there, what happened actually? They happened, you know, you know, very, 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 very. Ah, uh, in the late, late night when everybody was sleeping, everybody was, you know, deep sleep. They were not understanding what is happening. So all the bullock carts. and all the treasuries you know treasury means the literatures of the vaishnavas roop sanatan and all they you know you just imagine bhakti rasamrita sindhu vidagdha madhav uh, lalita madhav then uh, uh, but so many other literatures whatever you can think chaitanya charitamrita you know all of them you know they were there and then it was been stolen by the king birhambi and in the middle of the night everybody came and everybody everybody just never understood what is happening every single person was you know you know no even knew what is happening actually they were all in deep sleep because the lord has another beautiful pastime to be made because anything happens if you are surrendered to krishna's lotus feet if you are thinking about the lord then there will be no problem however in the morning time and then in birhambi with his people stole everything there was a, not a single chest chest means you know uh, what do you call trunk which was filled up with great you know wealth of krishna consciousness this shastras they are all stolen by the king and there what happens actually in the morning when all these things thakur shamananda prabhu narottam das thakur and then you know uh, shrinivas acharya he got got up and they were so sad they were so devastated they were so you know they were and i asked them what to do they were thinking that what to do and what not to do and they were only thinking that you know if the literature is not there where the six go swamis have given us so much responsibility they have so much faith on us and uh, even if they understood they might be some reason because they are pure devotees of krishna and they understood they might be some reason so the three of them they were thinking that we will search for this we will search for this and then what happens actually if that is the place is the one vishnupur this is happening it was dense forest and 
everybody was very afraid but then at that time shamananda prabhu and narottam dash was been requested by shanidha sacharya that you please both of you go ahead with your preaching areas you start following the instruction of the six goswamis and shri rajiva goswami that what he has given instruction i will stay back here and i take the responsibility to recover the shastras and then what happened is a history now srinivas acharya i'm not going to talk about him because you all know about him and vaishnava literature profusely speaks about the glories of srinivas acharya srinivas acharya was very very powerful in philosophy he was so beautiful in looking you know his form was very very beautiful anybody used to see him they will remember shri gauranga nitananda prabhu's name and they were young bright you know personalities full of krishna prem they have the they were the weapon of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu nitananda prabhu's love and then what happens actually he was acharya you know he stays back and then with people you know others they leave left and then he stayed back there and as he stayed back he came to know that here he, this is the place of bir hambir and this bir hambir is a decoyed king and he has stolen now just imagine the situation a political situation and then the king is a decoyed how to win him so he understood as is a pure devotee of krishna krishna says in bhagavad gita तेषां सततयुक्तानां भजतं प्रीतिपूर्वकं ददामि बुद्धि योगं तं येनो मामु प्रजन्तिते सो ही स्टेड बैक एंड देन वन नेक्स्ट डे मॉर्निंग यू नो आफ्टर टू और थ्री डेज ही वेंट एंड देयर ही सॉ इवन इफ ही इज अ डिकॉइड किंग ही वाज हियरिंग श्रीमद् भागवतम वाओ दैट्स अमेजिंग ओ एंड देन वन ऑफ द ब्राह्मण प्रेजेंट देयर ही वाज एक्सप्लेनिंग श्रीमद् भागवतम but then when narottam i know sorry when the shrinivas acharya went when shrinivas acharya entered the what do you call assembly of king king bir hambir at that time he being harun hambir by seeing the personality the graciousness the power and the effulgence he immediately stood up nobody the king never stands you know stands up but he personally came and he invited him and gave him you know a seat and then you know uh, shrinivas acharya was been told that why are you are coming he is i am monk i am just coming i am i am a sadhu and i am a follower you know of uh, krishna and then he said that uh, can you explain this verse that we are discussing and in the way shrinivas acharya discussed that verse with so many purport because he was been personally trained by jiva goswami and the six goswami's literature and in his mind he was just thinking you know how to get those you know my ratnas my dhana my jivana my life my wealth everything and that is the literature and then he stayed back there and he spoke shrimad bhagavatam every single person was so happy and mesmerized spiritually by the presence person association of the great soul sadhu sangha sadhu sangha sarva shastra kai lobha matra sadhu sangha sarva shiddha and then what happened is a big history shrinivas acharya stayed back and then he spoke full shrimad bhagavatam in a very beautiful way and the king and the king's men or you know ordered everyone to hear from him and by the power of one personal edition of acharya the whole kingdom of birhambi the decoyed king changed himself he became a great vaishnava and he wanted to take shelter and initiation from shrinivas acharya with his wife shudeshna and all the other personalities and then what happened actually shrinivas acharya was waiting for this moment only because jejan krishna bhaje sevada chatu as krishna says in bhagavad gita eshaan hrita juktanan bhajatan priti purvatam radami buddhi yogam tam yena mamu prajantite Similarly, he gave the session. He was so happy, and then he said that, "Well, now I have given the session. Now you have to give me some dakshina, some charity, and whatever I want, you have to give me." And then he said, "Anything for you, my good man." And then he said, "That give me the literatures back." And then he understood. And then he said that in one condition, I will give you back the literatures. 
is all things happening where we are visiting today one vishnu pur and he said then i will stay back you know he the king said i will give you in one condition all the books back all the literatures back all the wealth back because my astrologer said there are a lot of wealth coming but i didn't understand is a spiritual wealth i thought that it is like mail gold jewelries and everything but this is something i understood is very very special now you have to tell me explain me all this literature then i will give you this oh my guru dev please stay back and tell us and then shrinivas acharya for months stayed back there converted all the you know place with his personal association with his pravachan and by chanting the holy name of the lord hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari go ramga nityananda please chant go ramga nityananda and then converted you know totally changed the heart of this you know decoyed king made him vaishnav and then what we see now is the empowerment of a vaishnav to his disciple and he made whole vishnupur then from vishnupur became sri vishnu's residence krishna's residence shrinivas acharya instructed them to make 108 temples of krishna small small terracotta temples are there beautiful terracotta temples are there it is a world heritage center now and who made that because of shrinivas acharya stayed back there and converted this personality in vaishnava and not only that veer hambi made radha kunda and sham kunda and so many other tirthas he made a whole replica of shri vrindavan dham because that was the desire of chaitanya mahaprabhu wherever we go we should remember vrindavan krishna gordan yamuna radha kunda and sham kunda and here in this place you will see our special rashasthali where in the ras purnima day all the hundred and eight temples deities will come and they will stay in one ras mancha which is famous even if you search ras mancha of one vishnu pur you will see this beautiful beautiful temple which is architecturally an amazing masterpiece shrinivas acharya in this way stayed back and he traveled from vishnu pur to different other places and preached krishna consciousness but he always used to come back to his very dear disciples place birhambir and birhambir made a law whoever is there in my place in my country in my in my area they all need to chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare in this way we see shrinivas acharya krishna samadhi is also here shrinivas acharya's vaithak is also here and you when we come here we will see beautiful temples and one temple is very famous which is madan mohan temple radha govind temple uh, then many other temples are there gopinath temple is also there and all of them have beautiful krishna ravanani deities even till now let's visit them now what happens actually after shrinivas acharya went back to krishna vidhami went back to krishna their birhambir's family continued this vaishnavism they followed their their you know uh, you know uh, family tradition and then after birhambir's son died his son gopal raj he became the king and he was also a very powerful vaishnava gopal raj gopal raj was so famous by making everybody chant hari krishna and vishnu pur in bengali there is a saying that gopal rajir varga gopal rajir varga means he made a law that whoever will chant krishna's name a specific number of times in a day he does not have to pay tax and in this way you know he preached everyone gopal raj very favorite deity was and he is everything he was whole day and whole night with his things when they will he will only chant krishna's name go in the mukund madhav and hear shrimad bhagavatam and talk about krishna so one time a very special thing happened you want to hear yes so please say hari bol hari bol hari bol 
so one time what happened the burgis many you know from other part of india the decoits attack they are called burgis you know when we i was small also during that time there was a uh, you know lori lori means when uh, the baby is put in cradle the mothers and on and on near and dear ones they sing so there is a song in bengali uh, kavita <laughs> i remember that he, they used to say khoka ghumolo pada julalo borgi elo deshe bulbulite dhan kheche khadina de bokhishe that you know uh, please sleep my son otherwise the burgis will come the attackers will come because it is burgis they attack and at that time when everybody was chanting and dancing what to do the then what happened you know king was called and king said you know what to do let us all pray to madan mohan and he was praying the oh madan mohan if they attack my king's men will be suffering because they chant your name and they cannot do anything at this point we are not ready to for counter attack and at that time what happens actually because of the dana because of the many things he has given in charity and no tax was taken from anyone because they were chanting you know he didn't have any powerful personalities actually during that time but his devotion was powerful and what he did he just prayed to madan mohan his favorite deity was madan mohan radha madan mohan ji and he fainted there by praying to the lord save my people save my people actually who can save only krishna can save na rakhi hori mare ke mare hori rakhi ke so at that time what happened the burgis they were attacking and then the burgis you know that this this decoyed they saw a only 7 year old boy he was holding a big cannon cannon in the kaman cannon big kaman big cannon and he just you know you know what do you call attack them with that kaman and he was holding it in armpit he was holding that cannon in his armpit a big cannon and he fired one boom and by seeing that how powerful these people are their only one child of 7 year is holding a cannon and then they all ran away hurry bow and then they, everybody was you know they heard the sound and you know they were thinking from where the sound came and then they were searching 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 and then they saw there is a big cannon which is called dolmadol cannon it is still there in vishnupur in vishnupur this cannon is been recorded in the guinness book of world record which is so big cannon in the whole world let visit that which has been actually touched by <laughs> i know going to tell you let's wait so who you know used it and they all ran away and they never came back again because they were so fearful so frightened that a small boy how he can you know hold that one and in this way what happens actually the king went to the madan mohan temple because in his heart to heart he was thinking i know it is my lord who did this and when they opened the altar they saw that the whole body of krishna's deity was full of gunpowder or barood you know gunpowder because whenever the cannon is played you know if you use a cannon in return you know the lot of gunpowder comes to the person who is lifting it up so who did this avashya rakhi ve krishna vishwas palan that happened here in this place of vana vishnupur like this there are so many beautiful places in vana vishnupur where we can go and we can take shelter in the samadhi of shrinivasa acharya and then you know we can visit the palace and we can visit you know the government west bengal government is taking so nice care it has become the world heritage center now you can see and vana vishnupur is also famous for its terracotta work you can get miniatures of all these temples you can get all miniatures of all this a uh, canon also you know when you go there and also definitely you will see we will see this beautiful form of lord which has been personally installed by shrinivas acharya's instruction and by gir hambir which is very nicely followed by gopal raj in his lifetime one time gopal rath became you know what do you call a bankrupt bankrupt you no know, he lost all his wealth 
bankrupt. He came back. No wealth was there. So he requested. At that time, he is one of his friends who was the jamidar of Calcutta, Gokul Chandra Dev. So Gokul Chandra said that said that I will give you. They will give good friends, but they had a transcendental reciprocation. So Gokul Chandra Dev said that I can give you some Lakshmi, some gold, but what will be your mortgage? And then he said that whatever you want. Then he said, Gokul Chandra Dev was also a very great devotee. He said that I want Madan Mohan as a mortgage. So what to do? Then in the Rasa Sthali, he said, "Okay, you can take Madan Mohan, but in one condition." Gopal Das said that you have to recognize him from the hundred and eight other deities. And Madan Mohan came in the dream of Gokul Chandra Dev and said that you just touch me, I will be soft. And then definitely that thing happened. And then Madan Mohan was brought here in Calcutta, and he's he he stayed here in Calcutta. And because Madan Mohan was very beloved of Gopal Rao, Gopal Rao very within few days he got the money and returned it back and said that bring back, give me back Madan Mohan. Madan Mohan came in the dream of Gokul Chandra Dev and said that I don't want to go there. You may not buy it, Lika, because Gokul Chandra Dev during that time made a big palace for him, and Madan Mohan is still here in Calcutta. His replica went to Vishnupur, and immediately Gopal Rao understood. That it is replica of Madan Mohan, but then Madan Mohan came into his heart, into his dream, and said, "I am the same Madan Mohan. Let me stay there because I love him. I love you also. Just imagine how beautiful." And now Calcutta is also having one of the deities which has been personally worshipped by one of our great Acharya, Srinivas Acharya. And then, you know, this you know Vishnu food is one. One of our great Vaishnava Dham and Shripad, and today we visited that. Let us all pray to this Tirtha that we all get mercy of Shri Nivas Acharya and we can preach Krishna consciousness now. Preach Krishna consciousness to please Shri Guru and Hari and Vaishnavas. Shri Shri Vishnu Pur Dham ki, Van Vishnu Pur ki, God Pramanande Hari Hari Bol. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. RG Media YouTube channel like share subscribe